This is WebLeo TV here with maybe a really interesting video about our uh, security cameras from TapoLine from TP-Link. Uh, as you can see in my small Oscar nomination movie at the beginning of this video, that's what happens when you want to take a look of the cameras when at night you hear something or you want to just check how all the things going on around our home and when you enter there well you can see that this uh, interface user interface is always always in white mode and it's not very useful when you enter to a camera and maybe it's at night and all the interface is really really too much clear for your eyes, it's very strong, the, the bright of the, of the interface. So, what we can do about it? Well, if uh, someone from Tepelink Tapo, from USA or England or Australia or wherever, you can do something to update the interface to a dark mode, to have a small option to complete put this in dark mode it would be very useful. But what we can do right now? Well, I found these small tricks. It could be useful for you. If you want to check it, I will teach you. How we can force the dark mode here in this user interface. What we can do? Well, the first things you must do is go to your settings in your phone. In this case, I'm using a Samsung S20 FE and we are going to the bottom of your op all the options here and you will find here that it says about phone right you tap here you enter there and you will find an option called software information in this case i am using the third the 13th edition of android and the UI 5.1, right? And you must go here where it says build number. Where it says here build, mar build number, you are going to tap there about five times. Very quickly. You will see at the bottom that it said develop, de developer mode activated, for example. In this case, it said, said developer mode has already been turned on because I had done yes earlier. So we're going back, we back again, and now you will find here an option called developer option, right? Uh, if you have a Motorola phone, maybe when you find uh, about phone and you find software information and you find build number, maybe the developer option is in about phone and it's a bit um, hidden i don't have a motorola right now to teach you but it's not so difficult to find that option so developer option is activate you will enter there and you will go to the small lupa i forget the, the name in english lupa this a magnifying glass that's magnifying glass <laughs> And you will write dark. When you write dark, you will find here an option called force dark mode. And you will see that it said developer option. You enter there and the phone finds you the dark, force dark mode and you activate it, right? That's all, my, my friends. That's all. You go back, you go back. I'm going to the tapo link. You can see that is there. It is. Maybe if it won't uh, it appeared uh, uh, fast or at the beginning, close the the app and enter again to the app, and you will find that now the user interface is in dark mode. Even if I go to a camera, you will find that everything is now in dark mode, and when you open your cameras at night you will see that the bright will not kill your eyes 
right? So that's for now my solution. You can see that now I have in this phone Android 13. I don't know if on Android 12 or 11 or 10 will be in dark mode, but give it a try and could be very helpful for your eyes. Uh, you will find some mistake. For example, here I can see too much the photo or the video or the call uh, icons, but it's not so, I don't use it too much, right? Um, the, the most important for me are these and this, but you will, you will see with no problem. So we hope that soon, because on the forum of TP-Link, everyone needs a dark mode. I don't know what is so difficult to put this useful option on your phone, on your tap or tp -Land. So I hope in the future update can fix this. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe because my channel always made uh, videos in English and in Spanish. I know that the, with AI technology, I can convert my Spanish voice to the English, but I want to speak from my own and my own mistakes trying to speak the most fluently possible in English because it's a language that I love. So thank you very much. Please subscribe or give it a like. If you want to help our my channel, give it a super like. Or I will link some, I will give you some link if you need, for example, a new Tapo camera and that help to grow this small channel. Thank you very much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.